Let's talk about something we call lazy money. Generally, inflation occurs when the prices of goods or services increases over a given period of time, often accompanied by a drop in the value of your money's purchasing power. Think about it. If you had $100,000 in a low-interest bearing account earning just a tenth of a percent of interest annually, but your money was subject to, say, for example, an assumed inflation rate of 3.5%, then your account is losing purchasing power every year. Your money is just worth less, even though you see that tenth of a percent of interest as growth. Let's do the math. $100,000 multiplied by the assumed inflation rate of 3.5% drops to $96,500. That's a decrease in purchasing power of $3,500. That same $100,000, when multiplied by 0.1%, gives you interest earnings of $100. That $100 is swallowed up by the inflation. While the face value of your money is still $100,100, the actual value of that money is now just $96,600. Does that sound like your money is working for you? Taking it a step further, Imagine if you left that same money in a low-interest-bearing account for over 20 years. In year one, your money already loses $3,400 in purchasing power, and as time goes on, you really start to feel the impact of inflation. At year five, the loss of purchasing power could be up to over $18,000. At the end of year 10, $40,000 plus. So what happens at 20 years? If you can believe it, at this rate, you could be looking at a drop in purchasing power of almost $97,000. Unfortunately, in today's economic landscape, assets earmarked for retirement in these types of accounts tend to appear as if they have retired. Yes, life happens, and you may need money for emergencies, planned purchases, and just those everyday living expenses. But the money beyond that, the money not allocated for those things, we call this lazy money. Picture one of your hard-earned $100 bills. This lazy money is just lying in a hammock with fake little sunglasses, its fake little arms holding its fake little lemonade, just living the life of Riley. This could be you. And unfortunately, in this case, your money has retired more than you have. For some, it's even worse. Your money hasn't retired. It's in a coma. It's time to put your money back to work. There are strategies that include financial vehicles, such as various types of fixed index annuities and multi-year guarantee annuities that can provide principal protection, tax-deferred growth, and in some cases, the ability to get increasing income in retirement. If your approach to retirement consists of a low-interest bearing account, which may even include other underperforming assets within your overall portfolio, then this lazy money needs to be put to work for you. Schedule an appointment today with your financial professional for a complimentary, no-obligation personal meeting to explore your retirement options and the financial vehicles that may be able to help you have the retirement you want. You have a choice. Why not choose to explore ways to help your retirement be the best time of your life?